What are you doing? Oh, I'm playing with my mill. This is my Bridgeport mill. And I'm working on a fountain over there, and I need some braces. Something to go under the dishes to hold everything up because of all the weight involved. So what I've got here are just some cutout pieces, something like that. But this one's backwards. That's why it was in the scrap pile. I'm not quite sure how I did that. So I just cut out 12 of these, you know, the braces that I needed. I cut one out. I fit it. I shaped it. I got it, you know, pretty much just where I wanted it. Cut out the rest of them. Clean them all up. Get all the dross off the edges of them. You know, hit them with a grinder. Smooth them off just a little. Stack them all up. Clamp them all down. And then I can come over here with the mill and just kind of trim them. You know, eat, you know clean them up, get them the right shape, use my good one as a pattern, you know, the one that I fit already, have it clamped to the top so I can just kind of follow the line. I just finished this edge, cleaned that up the best I could. This little edge right here was still stuck over the edge of the table. So I had to stop, take my clamps off, you know, rearrange everything, get out the vacuum, suck up all the little chips, get those out of the way, put it all back together. So now I was just going to trim that edge off, round it off that way, and then trim it off flat. So that way they're all pretty close to the same size, or right exactly the same size. And then I can go ahead and start putting them on. Do you want to see it go roundy roundy? Oh yeah. <laughs> Always nice to make sure your end mill is not touching up against the metal before you start it. <laughs> that gets embarrassing. So this is a roughing end mill, doing quick work, doing you know, your first pass, trying to get all the excess out of the way before you switch it over to something with a, a finer tooth on it that'll do a, a smoother, cleaner job. But this isn't really going to matter for what I'm doing because I know I have to uh, touch these off with the grinder just a little. I'm going to weld them on on two different sides. And then probably shape them a little bit once I get them in place, you know, to smooth them all off. So I'm not really going to bother with this, you know, with, with the, the, the finished mill, simply because I know I got more work to do once I get over there. But let me get my glasses and we'll fire it up. about 45 minutes, I guess, you know, once I bolted everything down, clamped it down here to go all, all the way around on all three sides. Uh, you know, just trying to follow my curve, trying to get everything all the same so when I put them on over there, that way you're not going to look at it and go, wow, that one's, you know, like two inches smaller than the other one next to it. So clean them all up. You know, now I can take them over to the, to the vise over there one at a time. I can just clamp them, just touch them with a the grinder, just get rid of any of the rough spots. And I can go ahead and weld them on. Great machine. You know, fun to play with. 
it's fun to watch all the metal going everywhere. You know, wear your glasses, you know, because chips do go everywhere. But I've had a lot of fun learning how to use this thing. So let me get this off. I'll go back to work. You guys are going to go down over there and click that subscribe button if you would. We'll see you next time. This is a roughing mill, end mill, instead of a